Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to back up a trailer here, and I already backed it up. Um, but let me show you. Let me talk to you about it and do it again. So let me pull out of the spot and explain to you how to do this. Okay, so I want to put it right here between these two yellow lines. I don't want the tire on either line, and I don't want to destroy Walmart shopping cart. And it's a pretty wide trailer, so. I gotta be pretty precise. Um, some people may want to use their mirrors when they do it, okay? If you have a minivan or an SUV, it's a lot, I think it's pretty easy, especially if you're boat, backing up to a boat ramp or something, if you just open the back, okay? Um, but some people, you know, when they're backing up, they may want to like look at their mirrors and you know, watch it and all that, and that's fine. People can do that. Maybe people wanna look in your rear view mirror. For me, I like looking over my shoulder, okay? So here we are right here. I want to drive away and real fast, you need to turn the overdrive off. See the overdrive off when you do it. So I want to go ahead and drive away and go ahead and back up to it and show you guys how to do this. So, um, so here we go. Here's this shopping cart in the spot. Let's go here. Um, so I want to back in there. So one way to do it is pull straight forward in front of it. So you want to kind of pull so you're directly in front. Like so. And then you need to know that if you want the trailer to go left, then you need to turn it the wheel right. If you want the trailer to go right, you need to turn the wheel left. And you need to do little adjustments. And if you start seeing the trailer, get out like start turning you need to be careful you do not jackknife it okay and you want to go ahead and just back up slow okay nice and slow um, little adjustments nice and slow you do not want to jackknife it maybe I'll show you what it looks like to jackknife it a little bit so see how I'm going and my goal is I don't want either tire on any yellow line Let's go see how I did. Uh oh. Not good. It's on the yellow line. So let's go forward. There's not like a whole lot of room to play with. This mission I set for myself. So here we go. I gotta be pretty tight with that left one from inside here. When you're looking at that left tire, I wanna make sure the other one's on. So see how we did okay that's pretty close pretty pretty close but it doesn't really look like it's actually touching the main line so that was a pretty tight squeeze as you can see I am used to backing up a trailer um, let me show you what it looks like when you do an over correction and this is what you got to be careful about you might really damage your vehicle if you're not careful so let me go ahead and back up and I want to turn the trailer um, that way and back jackknife it kind of, okay? You don't want to actually damage the vehicle though. But, so this is what you don't want. Where it starts going, turning, turning, and you're not really keeping track of it. And it starts getting out of control. I don't want to hurt the vehicle here. Let me show you what it looks like. And it can kind of keep going and you really don't, let me let you get a good view of this. You can do it kind of like this, maybe sometimes to like put it where you want it to go. But if I kept turning, it could really cause a problem. So, um, if you do just little corrections and you're really on it, you're really alert, then you should be able to stop that from happening. Okay. But when you get skilled at backing up a trailer, you can do like all kinds of stuff. Let me uh, show you guys a little something here. So check this out. Let's see if I can go around that grass thing. Backing up. See, so you just kind of keep it constant monitored. I don't want to let it get out of control. I don't want to let it bend too much. So you just kind of follow the sucker. Around, 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 around. Round and round 
the round. Didn't want to go around that grass thing. The round. Um, I've had a lot of experience backing up a trailer. I mean, this is not that hard. You just, you just stay in constant control, constant monitoring, constant, constant, little tiny corrections. Don't do big corrections. If it starts to get out of hand, correct it. Remember, it's the opposite way with the steering wheel when you turn. As you can see, I can just like, don't hit that cart. If you start getting out, you just correct it. So, don't hit the curb. So there you guys go. Um, as you can see, you can do some cool stuff. I do want to give you guys another um, tip. Do you guys see that concrete thing in front of me? Um, if you're in a normal car, you might come up to it and you might just go ahead and like just turn the wheel. But when you're in the trailer and you have a trailer behind you, you need to account for that. So you need to steer further out, okay? If you're driving forward, you need to steer further out and then turn in if you don't want the trailer wheel to hit that, okay? So let me show you. If I'm coming forward, I'm coming forward. Um, what I want to do is I want to steer out, see out, and then turn in because I don't want the trailer to hit that, okay? So, a little tip for you guys. Um, guys, you can learn to back up a trailer. It's not that hard. As you can see, I didn't destroy the Walmart cart, which is awesome. And um, just takes a little bit of practice. You know, well, I, well, maybe not a little bit. But uh, just practice up, you know, little little adjustments. You gotta, you can't space out. You gotta pay careful attention when you're doing it, so you don't, um, it doesn't start to jackknife. And you know, turn wide. Like if you want to go around this, you need to turn wider when you're driving forward, and make sure your overdrive is off. I also want to do another video on how to load a trailer so it doesn't sway when you're um, going down the road. So that's it for now, guys. If you um, like the video, if it was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.